Hello, you're watching The Walking Dead Season 2 starting episode narrated by myself, Josh Ball, from StartReplay.com. Now, after playing the first season in its entirety, I have to say I've been highly anticipating the second season, and to have it just with us in time for Christmas is an absolute delight. Now, I'm going to sh just show you the starting moments of Episode 1, as I don't want to give the game away too much. Um, I've already played Season 1, of course. Now, for those who have played Season 1, you can import your save, as you're about to see here. Unfortunately for myself, or fortunately, I got review code for the US version. Now, that means... I couldn't transfer my save across and therefore my choices couldn't be put across as well. Um, here I'm just going to have them randomly generated and let's begin the story. Now without giving the game away too much in season one, this is one of the main characters. Her name is Clementine, she was one of the main characters of season one and she is joined by two of the remaining survivors of the group of survivors think? at the end of season one as well. Omid, Krista on the serious. left and Omid on the right. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here. Now, of course, choices are the heart of the Walking Dead game. The choices you make therefore carve the path of the character you're going to become. And it's up to you to decide which choices suit your personality best. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? It's also worth noting that your choices will affect some parts of the game rather heavily. So you better choose wisely. But don't worry, because you can replay an episode at any part if you want to go for an alternate choice. And don't be scared to either, because they often come out with quite different endings. Why don't you uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Okay, so I can see I'm going to be brave enough to explore the lavatories Hello? and make sure that the coast is clear. So, of course, I control Clementine with the left stick and I control my cursor with the right stick, which is in the shape of a D-pad. Now, the D-pad and its arrows have its own actions, so in order to do the bottom action, I press X and the right action, I press circle, the top, triangle on the left square. Of course, it's on PlayStation, so if you're playing on Xbox, for instance, then the bottom would be A, the right would be B, the top would be Y, and the left would be X. It's quite a simple procedure, much like most point-and-click games, you just aim your cursor in the direction that you want it to go. Then if there is an object with a small circle, you'll have the ability to interact with that, um, depending on what equipment you have on you at that time. Now I am looking quite dirty, so how up. about I clean myself up? No, oh, what I'd kill to have a shower right now. Okay, so obviously I want to clean myself with bottled water, but I am going to try the tap first just in case, because bottled water I want to drink. I don't want to clean myself with bottled water, that's clean and lovely and tastes good. Please have water. Let's try to tap. Surely there's something... No, there's nothing in this tap whatsoever. Darn. Okay, so let's use a bottle of water. I would love to drink most of it, but instead I'm going to use a cloth and clean up my face a little bit. What harm could come from that? See? Lovely. Nice and clean. Refreshed. All I need to... Oh, that's disappointing. All I needed to do was look after the water. Now, of course, I've played this game before, so I'm not going to go through each of the lavatories just to try and find a bottle of water. I know exactly which one is in it. It's in the end one. Um, sorry, spoilers. There. There it is. Hop my cursor down there. Press X. She'll go and 
grab the water. You. And unfortunately for us, there's an unexpected visitor, so we best go and hide. Oh, Clementine, you had one job. Just to stay still and not get caught. I see you. Get out of there. As it says in the top left corner, me. silence is a valid response. That's what I'm going to do Come this time because I've tried all the others before. And that's a great thing I found about this Walking Dead series. What are you doing? Well, any tell tell here. game for that matter. You do have a choice to play how you want. So if you don't want to answer a question or if you just want to do nothing, then you can. But bear in mind that that will affect in a, a light way Come on, let's see. the course of the story and how certain actions will unfold. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm being serious. I don't have I'm anything. Around. Come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? Uh, my hat? Well, I, asked you a I have question. to say, I killed someone for it. I killed someone for yeah. you. Killed? Yeah, doesn't it look like I could kill someone for Just a hat? give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? Oh, and I'm going to have to cut it off there for you guys, I'm afraid. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Come on, that's like the most tense part. And then I just cut it off at that moment where, you know, it's really tense. Well, I'm sorry. But you're going to have to play it for yourself to find out what happens. So there you are, guys. Um, keep an eye out at startreplay.com for reviews of future episodes in the coming months. But I highly recommend if you haven't played Season 1 of The Walking Dead, then play that first play the middle episode, which is 400 days, and then get to season two and enjoy that. You'll love the characters, you'll fall in love with them, then they'll die and then you'll cry. And anyway, I could go on about this forever. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you another time.